Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I've been on the cusp of riding the fence uh, between OS X, Apple's operating system, and Microsoft Windows, and I've been this way for years. Of course, even more so since Microsoft unleashed uh, Windows Vista, and I kind of had this funny taste in my mouth. You know, kind of like when you when you drink something out of a metal can, it just doesn't taste right. That's that's my feeling with Vista. Uh, so I've been living in both worlds for quite a while. And the only reason why I bring this up, well, number one, to share that with everybody, but number two, we had uh, someone on YouTube send in this email. It says, I'm a newbie trying for the first time to transport from WinXP Service Pack 2 to Mac, but before I can even get to the above problem, I have a dumber question to ask. Well, I don't know about a dumber question. I'm not saying that the first question was dumb. Anyway, this is what he writes. Or she, I don't have a network set up at home, only individual Ethernet connections to the internet. Do I have to set up a network between Mac and w WP computers? He means XP computers. Before, I can even transport my Windows computer into a new Mac. Can I link through the internet? Okay, so let's see if we can break this down a bit. First of all, Windows XP is one operating system, and OS X on the Mac is a completely different operating system. You can share files between them, Word documents, in some cases uh, emails, well, to a certain degree, uh, but you can share files between them. And I think if I am understanding this correctly, that's all this user wants to do. Wants to take all their data that's possibly sitting in the My Documents folder on his XP computer and copy that over to OS X uh, or his Mac. Um, it is simple to do. You shouldn't need to have any software installed, but yeah, you do likely need to run it through a network. Now, the only other way around that is getting like maybe a, a DVD dual layer disk and burning your data to that if you have less than eight gigabytes or so of data uh, and then copy that from one machine to another. It's always good to have a backup. Uh, or, as I said, uh, you know, connect it through a, a router or a switch of some kind. Um, and so you just connect the two computers. In fact, you don't even need to be connected to the internet to connect two computers together that way. Of course, you could also get it like a crossover cable, but my guess is, is it's going to be, number one, easier for you to use some kind of switch, an external device. Number two, you should probably have that anyway. I mean, I don't know why you don't have the computers at home networked together at all. I mean, you can, it is, simple to do. You can do that wirelessly or you can do it again on a wired connection. In fact, when I need to copy files from one to another, uh, I try to get them either in the same room or I definitely try to hook them on into the same like gigabit switch so that I can transfer uh, files at, uh, well, uh, a gigabit per second rather than a hundred uh, or a megabyte uh, per a hundred megabytes per second. Uh, so a thousand megabytes is a gigabyte. Uh, so I connect them in a wired capacity. I can transfer files quicker. It takes no time at all uh, to transfer files from one to another. Now, in terms of the actual network connectivity between the two, once you've got them on the same switch, they're on the same network, uh, the next step is to make sure they're, um, I guess, on the same, well, they're on the same network physically, but making sure that they're uh, uh, labeled uh, or, or browsed, browsing the same part of the network. So for instance, in Windows, or at least in, in Windows Vista, you can, or XP, sorry, I'm using Windows Vista right now. If you right click my computer and go to properties, uh, in, in, uh, in Vista, that's essentially the same thing as right clicking computer, going to properties, then clicking advanced system settings. So Vista makes it more difficult for you to find what it is you're looking for. This is, uh, I still think this is the easiest way for you to change your um, uh, work group within, at least within Windows. Um, by default, it's going to it's going to default to work group as the work group. You can change that to anything. My work group happens to be Parthenon. Uh, yeah, I just I like that motif uh, for my home network. Um, so I, I have that set there. You can also change it through, in Vista. You can change it through the uh, network. What do they call it? The Give me a second. It's like the network center, basically. Network and sharing center uh, can also be accessed pretty easily from within Windows Vista. Like I said, XP does it a bit differently. But as long as you're on the same um, work group, uh, then it should be easy for you to, to click and open and browse the files on your respective hard drives. That's, well, then that, of course, is assuming that you're sharing files on your respective hard drives. Right-clicking a folder and choosing the sharing option will typically turn it on within Windows. On the Mac, it's different. Um, you want to make sure that you open up your system preferences. 
going to the sharing icon it, and then turning on window sharing or personal file sharing or both is usually what I keep them on and then from there you should be able to browse your files and folders on your respective machines. Now the new version of OS 10 Leopard does it a bit differently. It's actually a little little easier than it than it has been in the past. But again the good news is, is that you do not need to install any software to share the files in between them. Um, again, messing with the network settings is is a, an exact science, but it is a bit complicated. If you have less than eight gigabytes of data and a DVD burner, at least one capable of of handling uh, uh, the DL disks, I say just burn it to a disk and copy it that way. It's certainly going to be uh, relatively easy. Does IP Addy to IP Addy work also? Well, if you have a direct network connection and, and browsing directly uh, to an IP address, that is so like I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep it in the realm of like usability, hence using the idea of, of going through a switch um, and then opening up file sharing on both your Mac and both your Windows PC. And if you want detailed instructions, you can just either uh, search the operating system for the exact instructions, or if we've written articles on it in the past, I'll make sure we link them up in the show notes. <sighs> okay, uh, I think we got through that in uh, record time. Uh, anyway, uh, if you have any other suggestions for home networking, copying files or sharing files back and forth, by all means, uh, make the suggestions. Ooh, I thought of another one. Uh, sorry, uh, you can use also like a USB stick, removable media. Instead of just burning it to a disk, you could also use this, so long as you have like a USB 2.0 uh, capacity on the uh, the actual port, USB 2.0 port, because that's faster to connect. Uh, there's a variety of ways you can do this. You can slice it and dice it. I, I'm just going to stop now. I'm going to throw it over to the community. What do you think? Uh, you're welcome to make any suggestions, tips, hints, whatever. Uh, home networking. Gosh, isn't it a gas? It, it actually gives you gas. That's a, it's a fact. They just uh, released that in uh, Sweden last week. Anyway, uh, we're always here 24 hours a day, even if I'm not awake. These people in the chat room certainly are, and they know exactly where you can go. And that is to live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.